Welcome to Adtech Micro's YouTube channel. This is Sachin Paul, and today we are going to learn about how to link a Google Ad Exchange with Google Ad Manager. As you may have known, double click for publisher, which is now known as Google Ad Manager. The Google Ad Manager is basically the ad server provided by Google. Google have two kinds of Google Ad Manager account. One is free of cost, another is a premium one, which is so Google Ad Manager and Google Ad Manager 360. You can know about what are the facilities in Google Ad Manager and Google Ad Manager 360 in my articles on my site, which is at macros.com. and search for it, and you can get the result for those differences between Google Ad Manager and Google Ad Manager 360. Now let's move on to what is google ad manager for those of you who don't know what google ad manager is i would suggest that you would go to my site and learn about what is google ad manager why it is used and why it is necessary for all publishers to get on board with google ad manager not so let's get started before that one i would uh, i guess you have already known what google ad manager does and basic functionality about it so let's get started so in this tutorial what we will going to do is we will going to link a google ad exchange account with google ad manager uh, i'm uh, under the impressions that i'm under the impression that you don't have your own google ad exchange account but you have your google ad manager account uh, whether it might be google ad manager 3 or google ad manager 360 but still uh, and you don't have Google Ad Exchange account to link with your uh, Ad Manager account. So basically, uh, what requires in this one is these are the requirements you need basically before you getting started. Basically, you will need a approved Google AdSense account because that is the uh, main approved account which is needed in order to get a Google Ad Manager. So I'm hoping that the first step is already completed. Secondly, you need to have a Google Ad Manager admin access in order to uh, get proper options to link the Google Ad Exchange account. And thirdly, and most importantly, the linked account option in Google Ad Manager. This is most important options that is present in Google Ad Manager, whether you are using Ad Manager 360 or Ad Manager Free. These options needs to be inside your google ad manager if you don't have these options then you need to reach out to google support team to get it activated unless and until those uh, unless and until google team have activated those options on your google ad manager you may not proceed with this tutorial you will need to have those options in your google ad manager then only you can link a google ad exchange account what else is needed from a google ad exchange so this Google Ad Exchange is basically you don't have to deal with this one because you have Google Ad Manager account. So this other part is uh, for with whom we are actually linking your Google Ad Manager. These are the requirement from the Google Ad Exchange. So they should have a Google Ad Exchange account reseller. Uh, we will need a web property code from their account and the pin code of the AdX account. So these are the two options we will need from the from the Google Ad Exchange provider who is actually willing to link his own Ad Exchange account with our Google Ad Manager. So these are the basic requirement. Uh, I hope you have uh, all the options needed. Uh, importantly, I will show you what is that or linked account options, in Google Ad Manager and why it is needed because uh, unless and until you don't have that kind of options, you will not be able to get, uh, you will not be able to link your Google Ad Exchange. So, uh, let's get started with that one. Uh, I will I have already logged into my Google Ad Manager account. So this is my Ad Manager account. You will see that this is a fresh Ad Manager account. I have every options there is. So in order to check what is linked account uh, section in Google Ad Manager, you, what you need to do is basically go to admin settings and in the admin sections, you will see these options. So this is the option that should be present uh, in your Google Ad Manager, if you don't have these options, it means that uh, you need to activate these options in your Google Ad Manager. These options can be uh, get enabled by reaching out to support team. As you may know that most of the 
accounts are small business accounts and they don't have any facility to reach out to support team so if you have any kinds of a doubt you can reach out to me i can help you in that one as well uh, but uh, you can, the, the the important thing here is you can reach out to whichever the google ad exchange account provider who was who is actually willing to link his ad exchange account with your ad manager you can ask them that this is the options uh, option and with you don't have that option so request him that enable this option and rest of the things he can uh, he, they can do it for linking purpose so this is the option that is needed what you need to do basically firstly uh, is uh, go to admin setting go to linked account once you have this account you can see that you can link ad exchange adsense as well here uh, but for now we were going to proceed with ad action so if you have your own adsense as well you can link it here what it does is if you click on new adsense you will need to add a web property code a display name uh, display name you can add anything a contact email and the rest of the things are optional zip is compulsory uh, so what we will going to do here is we are looking to connect uh, google ad action so we will click on google ad action and click on new ad exchange account okay so these are the options it will ask for web property code then display name contact email it's actually uh, not not necessary you need to add it it's optional part and third is the zip code the zip code is needed or either a last five digit of the account these are all the details you will refer from the ad exchange provider who is willing to link his own ad exchange with your google ad manager so before proceeding further why we are doing it this options it's necessary that you have your own uh, ad manager account and you are filling your inventory with direct sales and all those things but since your account is small and you don't have that much inventory in order to give uh, your inventory a higher revenue you can link a google ad exchange with your dfp account and uh, can get benefited from these options so let's get started with this one so i will click on new ad exchange the web property code i have already taken it out i will take the web property code here this is the web property code since we are linking a display here so this option is like see i have fun pub and the network code for app it will be see i have fun have an app something like this one these are the options with app for video it's a different one so this is option one uh, i will put a name here like uh, ad exchange so i will add a name this will be the option that will be useful in next step we'll show you google ad exchange and this is display so i will add a display uh, here i will need a zip code to enter so the zip code is already here so i will add a zip code here and once this is done i will save this once this option is saved you will see that its status is not associated so what in needs to be done is we are requesting an ad exchange provider that we have already sent this request and now get it approved if you see now i have access to both google ad exchange and dfp uh, the google publisher account as well so now i will went on to my ad exchange account here uh, you can see that i have this many ad manager that is linked now refresh this page once you refresh this page you will get to see here you will see that this is the network code and here we will go to this option and look, just look for this network code so you see then there is a request for this ad manager account to link with our ad action so currently it's pending so i will just enable these options now once this option is enabled now let's move to publishers ad manager account so just refresh this page you will see that the status which is not associated now will be changed to associated let's wait few seconds now this is now active so the linking between google ad exchange and google ad manager is done now coming to the next part which is basically setting up a ad exchange line item so in order to set up a ad exchange line item what you need to do is go to delivery go to order okay. inside the order you will create first order we will create on this one i will add this one google ads display 
can add tier as well so whichever name you prefer i will add a company as well so for example i will click this one as this one and so then so i will save this option so order is created i will get it right away now i will create a line item so what we have done is basically we have linked a google ad which display account with ad manager so i will set up a display line item here i will add a name as well so here uh, for a normal ad manager account you don't have an options to set up a ad exchange line item type or when you link adsense with your ad manager account you will get an option as an adsense line item type so since we have linked with the ad exchange now i have the options to set up a ad exchange type of line item so i will set up ad exchange line item here i need to add the sizes so basically what you need to do is add all the sizes most of the sizes that you can add it you add all the sizes which are standard you can choose which ad, uh, ad unit you have actually placed on your site and select those ad units uh, ad unit sizes only you are going to do that way but i am selecting all the options because it helps to increase the revenue the fill rate will be more that's fine one this is option 972 and i have added most of the sizes here i have actually selected this one options uh, same advertiser exceptions you will get to know about it later this one immediately start i, I want to run this on a run of a network so i don't have selected any of the particular ad units but if you have uh, a particular ad units which you want to target it you can target it here you can add a geography as well for which one or particularly which country you want to run this um, ad exchange account ad exchange demand and select these options once this is done click on save now it will ask for the creative so we will head to the creative section here you don't have to upload any kind of a creatives uh, since this is the ad exchange line item type just click on automatically generate creative and all the creatives will be generated don't worry about these sizes because this is just a trafficking size uh, at the back end it is basically the size overriding will be done by google so uh, size override is already done that's why it, uh, even though it is showing a targeted ad unit size 88 cross 31 you don't have to worry about it uh, it will actually pull the creatives perfectly so as you can see that the line item is already set up uh, now it's in a ready stage so that's how you actually set up a google ad exchange account with a google ad manager now let's check one more thing that if you want to link adsense as well what you need to do is basically simple thing is add your web property code here uh, the web property code is provided uh, by adsense it's basically the adsense id you can say that you can add it here add the display name and the account zip code or the last five digit of your phone once that is done the request will be went on to add sense similar to what you are currently seeing and basically that's it how you want to link a google ad exchange account with the google ad manager uh, if you have any kind of a doubt you can always reach out to me on at tag macros at gmail.com uh, you can reach out to me on skype which is such an underscore paul uh, you can visit my site as well at tagmacros.com so that's it for today. Thank you.